Hi, I'm Marius from MWS Photography and in the next series of videos I'm going to talk about the new Cactus V6 flash transceivers. Now we will be unboxing these units, I'm going to show you close-up detail on them as well as the technical specs. Then we're going to take these, we're going to set them up, I'm going to show you how you assign a profile of all the different flashes because these units are not brand specific. So you can use Nikon, Pentax, Canon flashes and mix them together and control the power levels of them all wirelessly with one system. So this is really awesome. I love off-camera flash. I've got the Cactus version 4s, the 5s, now the 6s. And I've got the, the, the Pocket Wizard Mini TT1, the Flex TT5 AC3 controller. I love to do off-camera flash work. So when I got these new um, v, uh, V6s, I must say I'm really, really impressed because a lot of the things I couldn't previously do, these units can do them. So we're going to unbox them now and in the next few videos I'm going to show you in detail how you set up the units, how you assign a specific flash. For instance, I'm going to show you how you assign the Nikon um, SB910 to the unit. All the profiles are already loaded on them. And then we're going to assign a, a Canon 430 to another unit. And then we're going to learn one of these units to use a Sunpack flash that's made for a Canon system. We're going to learn the unit to use that as well. And another thing that was just awesome when I found it out is that I can even adjust the power um, like normally with that flash. It's only full power, half power, um, quarter power, eighth power and sixteenth power. By using these units, I can actually go to 32nd power and 64th power and even 128th power. So I can get more from that flash by using this than I could with the flash alone. So this is really awesome. So let's first start by just unboxing the unit. Now I really love the Cactus boxes. They've always got, or at least since the version 5s, they've got these nice sleek black looking boxes. It's the same as the LV5 laser triggers. They've got the same type of box. Okay, so what do we find inside? Inside you will find your little user's manual and then a little booklet that's got some pictures from people that have been using the Cactus system and they talk about their pictures there. Now, usually when I buy any new gadgets or receive any new gadgets, I usually chuck the manual aside and just start using it. I must say with Cactus, the manuals are usually very user-friendly and very easy to work through very quickly. And they usually tell you some very important tips about um, their gadgets, their toys, their, their um, triggers. So they'll tell you, for instance, shortcuts you can use. And by reading the booklet through before I used um, the units, I picked up some shortcuts that immediately I started to use when I, when I went through all the settings. And it's really a good idea, read the manual. Okay, then you are going to find your unit, which looks like this. I'm gonna go close up on each side of the unit to tell you what all the buttons do. But it comes with this very handy little stand and I really like the locking mechanism on here. You basically just flip it to the side, it unlocks and you just push it backwards and it goes off the stand and then you can now fit this to your camera or you can take your light stand and just put it onto your hot shoe bracket and then obviously to store it back again I'll definitely going to be using this stand because it's a really nice solid stand they've put on they've put on here it's not like the version 5s if I get the version 5 here um, it's really very tight to get in here it's something I didn't like about the version 5s that you struggled if especially if you've got large hands getting your fingers in here with the version 6s, awesome. It's a breeze. There's no, nothing holding you back trying to unlock the thing. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the, at the buttons and everything on these units because they are really very solidly built. I really like what they did with these units. When we look at the top section of the Cactus V6, we've got a multi-system hot shoe right there. Right below it, we've got a nice bright LCD display. And then to the side here, we've got the group buttons. Now, if you look on the LCD, there it says group A. If I press the B button, B will highlight, and you can see B right there. There we've got group C, group D, and there we are back to group A again. Then at the back of the unit, we've got here a menu button, an OK button, and then also a selection dial that you can also use as a shortcut. When you press it in, it does the same task as the OK button. Okay, to the side of the unit, we've got our battery compartment that houses two AA size batteries. To the front of the unit, we've got an optical sensor right here, as well as a test button and a shutter release button right there. 
on this side of the V6, we've got basically the on off button right there, which has an off and then an RX for receive and a TX for transmit. And then in this corner right here, we've got a flash sync port. And right in between those two, we've got here a little flap. If you open the flap up, there's a mini USB port. And this you can use to update the firmware as well as add extra power to the unit. Okay, now before we start to set up these units, let's have a quick look at some of the technical specifications. The technical specifications and the special features that I find noteworthy is that I've got wireless manual power control, not only of a specific brand like I've got of my Pocket Wizards, which is made for the Nikon system, but I can mix my Canon, my Nikon flashes together and even some third party flashes as well. So it's really awesome. And you can see on the screen now the different um, profiles that it already supports. Now, if your flash is not on that list, the, the V6 has also got a flash profile learning option for analog TTL flashes. So this is a time when you're going to grab all those old flashes and try and learn them on these units. I already show you on one of the videos how I learn a Sunpack flash that's made for the Canon system and then I can use it on the V6 and I even get more from that flash than by using the flash by itself. The V6 actually brings out extra power levels from that thing that's not even present on the flash. Okay, then I also like the full manipulation of the power levels. So when you adjust the flash output on the back of the screen, you can also adjust the extra increment. So it's not just going, say, 16th power and then 32nd power. You can say, okay, 36 plus one third of a stop or plus two thirds of a stop. And you can also set it to in tenth increments. So you can really fine tune how you want to set the power levels. Then the absolute power mode I also find very interesting. If you have different um, strength flashes, for instance, a top of the range flash and an entry level flash. If you put both of them at half power, obviously the, the more expensive flash at half power will be much stronger than the entry level flash at half power. So what this does, it benchmarks them so that the output of the different flash models will, be the will have the same light intensity. Then there's also the TTL pass-through function, which I'm very excited about. You'll notice in one of the videos, I show you in detail how you enable the function, as well as we're gonna go outside and shoot a picture of a flower. And I'm gonna show you how I shoot with the flash on top of the camera, as well as add a backlight, um, and then control the power levels of everything. So that's awesome. Then there's a built-in optical trigger. So you can use the flash from your camera to trigger the V6s with. I'm not that impressed with it. I played around with it. It's a little bit finicky. So I'm not really that happy about that. Um, the group con control is really nice. Um, you've got the group A, B, C, and D. Like on my Pocket Wizards, I've only got group A, B, and C. So having an extra one thrown in there is really very nice. Okay, then the units work on a 2.4 gigahertz radio frequency. We've got 16 channels to work with. So the chances of someone else using the same channel as you are using will be very slim as you can just quickly change a different channel if someone else is also using the Cactus V6 system. Now it supports sync speeds of up to a thousandth of a second. This will obviously be subject to your camera sync speed limitations. Then the maximum effective distance between the two V6s is 100 meters. Now I haven't tested this yet, but so far with the version 4s and the version 5s, the maximum distance, I've actually went further than that. So I'm sure with the version 6s, it will also be the same. Okay, after looking at all those technical specifications, I hope you are as excited as I am to see what these babies are capable of. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up three of these units. This one will be on top of the camera and the other two will be assigned one to a Nikon flash and one to a Canon flash because these babies are not brand specific. So it's going to be awesome. I'm going to show you how to do all the power settings. I'm going to show you some shortcuts to set the power levels quicker. And before we do, before we go over to that video, if you are watching this series on YouTube and you like what you are seeing, then do the right thing. Subscribe to the channel and then get all these videos as they come out. Then if you're interested in purchasing these units, Camera World here in Belleville in South Africa are sponsoring 
all these episodes. So if you want to buy these units, you can contact them directly. They ship anywhere in South Africa, or if you're on the Western Cape, just pop into their store in Belleville. For all my overseas um, viewers who are watching this show, you can go to the Cactus website and you can look there where the closest um, distributor or shop will be where you can buy these units. So let's head over to the next episode and see what or see how we set up these babies. Bye.